So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a really good strategy for using ChatGPT to learn just about any skill that you want. This is a really efficient and effective way of learning using ChatGPT, and you can apply this to just about anything. So if you're studying for a course for school, then this is a great strategy to use. And also, if you're trying to make money online, you can apply this strategy as well, and you'll be blown away by the results. Now, in this video, I'm going to choose a course because I am studying right now. So I'm going to go with, let's say, HR, human resources management, and we're going to use ChatGPT to help me learn this course and actually pass this exam. So stick around for that. Now, if you've ever used ChatGPT before, you've probably just simply asked a question, you've gotten a response, and you've used that response to do whatever you wanted to do. That is not a really effective way, and I'll break down why in this video. Now, starting out, let's think about this, right? Let's say you wanted to learn something. Let's say you wanted to learn what the 80-20 rule was and you didn't know what it was. So you could say, chat GPT, what is the 80-20 rule? And you'd get a response. Now, another way of asking this question to make it a lot easier for yourself would be, hey, chat GPT, explain the 80-20 rule in the simplest possible way. Or you could say something like, explain the 80-20 rule for dummies or beginners. Now, that is better than just asking what the 80-20 rule is, but that is still not the most efficient or effective way of using chat GPT. So let's Let's get right into this video. So let's first look up the 80-20 rule because this is what's related to what I'm going to be talking about today. Now this is from Investopedia and it says here the 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle as it's called states that 80% of consequences come from 20% of the causes. Now if we flip that around it simply means that 80% of the results are going to usually come from about 20% of your efforts, right? So you're studying this course, 80% or 20% of the effort you put into studying is going to be responsible for 80% of the stuff that you're going to learn. So by using this principle, we're now going to use ChatGPT to help me learn human resources management. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go over to ChatGPT and this is how I'm going to formulate my question. So this is how we're going to do it, right? We're going to say, create a study guide for the course HR management and this could be whatever course or whatever topic or whatever skill you wanted to learn and we're gonna say using the 80-20 rule and give me the top 20% off material from this course that will help me learn 80% of the material right so that is a more effective way of getting a result now this is the response from chat GPT as you can see here it says sure here's a study guide for HR management based on the 80 20 rule focusing on the top 20% of material that will help you learn 80% of the concepts so this is what I'm going to be studying now so I've got 10 uh, topics here and we also have the subtopics. so for example introduction to HR management and we have these this is what I'm going to be learning here so now I know the exact things that I need to study now if you're someone like me you probably don't like studying you don't like reading all these books especially if it's related to school because maybe you don't like that stuff and also you probably hate studying a course or going through course material spending weeks or months and then when you go to an exam you're asked questions that are probably just 10 to 20 percent of the material that you studied and now you feel like you wasted your time so this is a more effective and efficient way of learning using chat GPT now here it says remember this study guide covers the most important topics in HR management but it's essential to refer to your course materials textbooks and additional resources for a comprehensive understanding now this is good so far but this is not the end we have to go a bit further so here we have the most important topics that we need to study for this course but we also need to know how we need to pull this off right i mean like we need a study schedule so what we could do is we could say hey chat gpt create a study guide for this and you can tell it when you're free so in this example i'm saying i'm free to study on tuesdays after 7 pm and also all weekend and you can also put a goal in here i want to study and I want to complete one topic per week. Now, this is different depending on what you're studying. For this course, I probably wouldn't do one topic per week. I'd probably do three to four topics per week, but this is just an example. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get a response from ChatGPT. And here it says, certainly, based on your availability and the desire to complete one topic per week, here's a study plan for your HR management course. So week one, 
I'm going to be doing introduction to HR management. Week two, I'm going to do strategic HR planning and you can go through the list. So now we have the study guide and we also have a outline of what we'll be doing every single week. So assign each week's topic to the corresponding week as per the study plan. You can schedule your study sessions on Tuesday evenings after 7 p.m. and allocate additional time on weekends to review and reinforce the concepts. So now we have the top 20% of course material that we need to cover to learn 80% of this course or more. That way we can pass the exam. It will be more efficient and an effective way of learning here. And also we have a study plan based on or availability. Now you can put your own availability here and your own goal, but this is just an example. Now we're all also not done yet. I mean, this is good. We know exactly what to study. We know when to study. It fits or schedule, but let's go a bit further here and make this even better. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to say, Hey, chat GPT list a set of resources, including videos for the above topics. Because if you look at this, it's like, okay, week one introduction to HR management. And it says, spend time understanding the definition and importance of HR management. Now you'd have to go search the web, go through the course material, watch videos on YouTube to learn this stuff. Now, if you say include a set of resources and videos for the above topics, this means that ChatGPT is now going to give you these resources. So you don't have to actually go and search for anything. You can have the resources right here. So if we go ahead and we put this in ChatGPT, it should give us a good response. So here it says, certainly here's a set of resources, including videos that you can utilize to supplement your study of the HR management topics. Now, I did say resources, including videos here. I mean, you could include resources such as, I don't know what makes you learn better, but for me, it would be videos. And that's why I put resources, including videos. So you could put whatever you want there. But basically now ChatGPT is giving me uh, YouTube videos for every single topic. And these are YouTube videos by professors, right? So this means that I'm actually getting good and useful lectures or good and useful information, right? Now you can use this as your primary learning material, or you could use this as supplementary material. So let's say, for example, you go to HR management, introduction to HR management. You could watch this YouTube video. If it's a long enough YouTube video and it covers a lot, then maybe that is good enough. If not, then you could search for other resources as well. But this just makes it a lot easier to learn the stuff because now you have the study plan, you have the topics, and you have the links to the actual resources for each topic. Now, while this is a whole lot better than just asking ChatGPT about HR management, we're still going to go a step further, right? So you could say, um, help me find, you know, paid courses, right? If you want some paid courses or you want other material, you can ask ChatGPT to provide you with that info. But say, for example, you, uh, your method of learning includes flashcards, right? So let's say every weekend after watching these videos, you want to go ahead and you want to look at some flashcards because that helps you learn a lot. Now you could ask ChatGPT to do this for you. So you could say, create me some flashcards, right? This way you don't have to go out here and actually create the flashcards yourself. So you have the topics, you have the study plan, you get the links to the videos to watch, to learn the stuff. And then after watching the videos, you can just print all the flashcards and then you can go through this every weekend in this case. So here we go. Certainly here are some flashcards for key terms and concepts in HR management. And again, chat GPT is creating all these flashcards for you. Now, these are just 10. You can regenerate a response or you can ask it to create more flashcards. But this again is a whole lot better than you just actually going out here, trying to remember and trying to create the flashcards yourself. So this is definitely a whole lot better than just going out here and simply asking chat GPT, what is human resource management, right? I mean, if you ask that, you'll get a response, but if you actually go down and you use the 80, 20 rule, then this is going to help you learn just about any skill that you want to learn. And it's going to be really effective and really efficient. And remember you can apply this to just about anything. So let's say you're not studying for a particular course, or you don't want to learn a particular skill like this, but you want to learn how to make money online. So you could say chat GPT, explain affiliate marketing in the simplest way possible using the 80, 20 rule. Or you could say something like, 
uh, create a course on or create a crash course on affiliate marketing using the 80 20 rule providing me with the top 20 percent of topics that i need to learn to master 80 percent of affiliate marketing right and you could ask chat gpt you could get it then you could create your study guide and then after getting all the topics you could say provide me with a list of free resources including videos of how i can learn this stuff and then there you have it you have all the youtube videos on how to learn how to do affiliate marketing and the most important topics on their affiliate marketing and then you can take that info and you can use it to make money online so if you use chat gpt a lot then try using the 80 20 rule use this and try to apply it to just about everything that you want to learn any skill any course method of making money online and let me know if this helps you out a ton because this actually helps me out a ton with studying and i'm sure this will help some of you guys out as well now again this doesn't necessarily have to be just with learning courses or with school you can apply this to just about anything that you want to learn so comment down below let me know what you think about this method or the strategy of using Using chat GPT do you think this is a more effective and efficient way hopefully this was able to help you guys out if you like the content give the video a thumbs up I'll really appreciate it also subscribe so you never miss the updates of when I post new videos as always all the best and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one